Hey, Mr. Banker Mel, what you gonna do? Boss man took my job away, and now I'm feeling blue. I saw you on the telly, you say you feel a pain. I don't care what you're feeling, give me back my job again. disgusting what they're doing, um, the system's all wrong. Majority of the residents have said they like it at the homes that they're at. They would prefer to stay here, but to be honest with you, they haven't, had a, they haven't got a choice. Staff as well, people that have worked 28 years in the job, a year off retirement, and they're redundant, who's going to employ them? So you can basically say you're on the scrap heap. Nobody wants to go private into private care because they know the neglect. You worship the god of money, or worship the god of greed. Let the market rule you, said to answer every need. But now your god has left you and left you in. With a begging bowl for us to bail you out. And to close 29 homes because they're stupid with their balancing, their budgets. They're messing with people's lives. Hey there, Mr. Banker Mel. You don't look so great. Someone ought to tell you that you passed yourself by date. You tell us that you're sorry, but I think that you should know. We don't need your sorrow. We need to let you go. about the, the cuts to higher education and the fact that a lot of us feel like our future has been taken away from us. My little brother's um, in his first year of his GCSEs. He's probably not going to be able to go to college. Being quite privileged and being able to attend an institution like Leeds Uni, and they're not going to have that chance. And like hundreds of thousands of people of our generation are going to be priced out of education. Excuse me, Mr. Minister, I hear what you say. The country's in a crisis, and we will have to pay. You roll out fancy bonuses to your friends in the city. But when the bailers kick us out, there's nothing left in your kit. They're attacking the students first, but they're going to move on to the NHS and everything else that we like love in this country that really provides for people. Why would they say it's because of our deficit they need to get rid of? But I don't agree with that. I think it's attacking the working class people because we've, in history before, we've had a deficit as big as this or bigger from crap. This crisis has been caused by a select few, like the richest, and the people who are paying for it are the poorest in society. We were forced to pay for it. And I think this is just a reaction to that, saying, actually, no, we're not going to pay for it. This is your problem. Your students with low wages to keep your profits high. You plundered all our money with your pie in the sky. Sold us to the credit game, said we were to blame. You have the nerve to try and rip us off again. Make them pay, make them pay, make them pay. Make them pay. Oh. 
I think you know, like closing down connection centres and making you know, like connection staff compulsory redundant is one of the most lunatic pieces of short-sighted you know, like political decision making I've ever heard of in my life. How do you expect young people to stay in employment, stay in education and find training without the support of a so they can go to give them ideas of which training courses and stuff to go on? It's not that easy anymore to just go out and find a job. Why don't you come and join us on the unemployment line? Come and prove you're destitute, our poverty is your crime. I think of all the money you splendid and you stole. You fly off to the Cayman Isles, we sign on the doll. Make a pay, make a pay, make a pay. Make them pay. The saying about getting young people jobs and that, but if you get rid of these, there's no opportunities out there for them. I mean, I'm with the job centre at the moment and they ain't doing nothing. They cannot do nothing for me. Closing down connection centres in areas of high unemployment is like closing down hospitals because there's too many sick people. Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense to me. It's the craziest thing in the world. Don't you come and join us on the unemployment line? Come and prove you're destitute of poverty or crime. I think of all the money that you plundered and you stole. You fly up to the Cayman Isles, we sign on the doll. Make them pay, make them pay, make them pay.